Imagine, if you will, that it is 1815. Two of the most unlikely people to contribute to computer history and the invention of the computer were born about a month apart. As far as we know, uh, Boole and Lovelace, these unlikely pioneers of computing, never met. But what they had in common was that they defied the odds set by their backgrounds. They used just their natural talent and hard work to change the world. Our fellows this year also defied the odds to change the world. I do want to say thank you. A number of very generous individuals and companies have helped to make tonight possible, led by the headline sponsor Accenture and a large number of patron sponsors who are now also appearing on the screen. The Computer History Museum is shining a spotlight on this very important history, and tonight is their Academy Awards. Please join us as we honor the past in order to inspire the future. Our first honoree this evening is Charles Bachman. Bachman is known for his conception and development of the world's first database management system, IDS, the Integrated Data Store. Accepting the award on his behalf is his daughter, Chandini Bachman. It is amazing how much faith General Electric had in our team with no guarantee of a useful result. Tonight we honor Evelyn Burzen, computer system designer and entrepreneur. I got this job to design computers and I walked into that place and I had absolutely no idea what a computer was or how to design it at all. I was so ignorant and, uh, and maybe so arrogant that it didn't occur to me that that would be hard to do. The 2015 Computer History Museum Fellow Award is presented to Bjarne Stustrup tonight for his invention of the C++ programming language. You could look at C and a lot of other uh, languages that was machine close, uh, or you, and you could look at Simula that had the abstraction features. So I took the two things and put them together. We think it's a real honor and a privilege and in fact a joy to be able to tell these stories and in our own way to help step by step transform the world's understanding of our relationship with computing, its history, its impact, and the implications for the future. At the museum, we have now an active and expanding education program aimed at encouraging students to consider computing as a career. We especially target girls and kids with backgrounds that wouldn't lead you to believe that they could be future fellows of the Computer History Museum. But they can be. If Boole, Lovelate, Struestrup, Bachman, and Berezin can do it, so can they. All we have to do is encourage them.